Ladies and gentlemen, today is a very special day. Crimson Toaster actually gave me toast. Hooray! Hello everyone and welcome to episode 118 of ASA, my Q&A series where I answer your questions. As always, before I get into the questions, I just want to give a huge massive thank you for the support in the last episode of ASA. It always just means the world to me when people actually watch my videos and then take the time to comment, you know, ask questions, leave likes, all that stuff, maybe subscribe. It's just, it's wonderful and I greatly just appreciate it. Anyways, let's get straight into the question, starting with Alex De Brimer. I, I think I said that right. I probably didn't. ASA, would you be absolutely hyped if LEGO did a play scale version of the Rebels at -AT? I absolutely would be because though it's not my favorite version of the Star Wars at, -AT because, you know, with Star Wars Rebels, the animation was a little weird at times and it's kind of like square headed, but I still think it's pretty cool. And I think if LEGO decided decided to make a Rebels version of the at, -AT I think it would be pretty cool and I definitely would buy it. It would probably be about $170 if LEGO released one like this year or next year, but I would I would get it. I think that would be really cool and especially if it came with some more of the Star Wars Rebels Stormtroopers because I love those guys. They're great, but yeah, I definitely would be hyped for that and I would love to see it. So that's actually not a bad idea and hopefully LEGO someday does that, but I don't know if they ever will. Probably not. Next question is from EK Star Starlord ASA, what is your thoughts on the Tales of the Empire? And then a bunch of potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. I'm definitely absolutely excited for Tales of the Empire. Last year we got Tales of the Jedi and I was kind of meh about it. Like I watched it and I liked it, but I wasn't like hyped for it and like, oh my gosh, I can't wait for this to come out. But Tales of the Empire, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't wait for this to come out. Like I'm really, really, really excited for Tales of the Empire. I'm a big fan of the Empire as many of you probably know. And so to get an animated series that has the beautiful Clone Wars animation, but about the Empire. Oh, it's going to be so cool. I'm very excited to see the arc with Barriss because I'm curious if they're going to kill her because, you know, she's not really in any other Star Wars media ever. So, you know, she's going to become an Inquisitor or she's going to die running from becoming an Inquisitor, if that makes sense. Like, either way, I think she's going to die. The episodes with Morgan Elzebeth, I'm a little less excited about, but I'm still going to watch the whole show and I'm very excited to see what happens. Long live the Empire! Next question is from TG Collects. ASA, what would you do for 1,000 subs? Nothing! Now get out! So first off, I want to say that before I sat down to record this video, I read the comment as what will I do when I get a thousand subs? I don't know how I read it that way. To answer your question, honestly, probably nothing. Like, yeah, sure, I would like a thousand subs and here's my chance to like basically ask, hey, if you're not subbed, more people aren't than there are that watch my channel, blah, 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 you should subscribe. <laughs> But I'm not gonna like beg for subs. I'm not gonna try to bribe people or do anything like that. But I will say that when I get a thousand subs, maybe I would do like a gift card giveaway or something. Basically, I'm just gonna keep making videos and hope that over time more and more people, you know, subscribe. Because isn't that the goal of every YouTuber, even the ones that actually have a huge amount of subs? Every time they make a video, they still gain more subs and that's good, right? Next question is from Brick Collection. ASA, what do you think of this Skyren guy? And then a couple potatoes. You know, there's a lot of Skyrens on YouTube. Who are you people? But I'm the best, right? because there's a lot of people like I'm Skyren with capital S-K-Y capital R-E-N because I'm cool. The rest are fakes or imposters. But if you're talking about me, I I'm a weirdo. That Skyren guy, the guy that likes potatoes, he's weird and he owes me $5. Next question is from E.K. Starlord. ASA, this might sound like a weird question, but have you ever watched the TV show Bluey and then a couple potatoes? Actually, that's a lot. Thank you for the potatoes. So I've never actively sat down to like watch an episode of Bluey, but I know what it is. I've seen it. In fact, one of my jobs is that I do childcare at my church and the kids sometimes like to watch Bluey. So I've kind of watched episodes while watching the kids. I think it's a pretty humble show. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. The animation is very nice and the storytelling is pretty mature. It's not like chaotic and just like barfing rainbows in your eyes and, you know, like screaming and yelling and fighting. Like they're actually nice to each other most of the time or they deal with moral issues to like 
like teach kids like, hey, if someone's doing you wrong, this is how you deal with it. And so I can respect that. I think that it's a pretty good kind of like educational, if you will, show. I like the animation, like I said. So I like Bluey, but I've never actively watched it and I don't plan on it, but I like it and I think it's cool. Next question is from Mayo Husko. ASA, what Star Wars fig do you want to be re-released? The first one I had to go with is the Star Wars Rebel Stormtrooper because that's my favorite Lego Star Wars Stormtrooper ever made. But then I would go with the other Lego Star Wars Stormtrooper that released around the same time as it, well actually before, and that's simply because I think that that helmet is much better than the helmet design that we have now. Okay, seriously, I'm gonna puke if I gotta keep looking at that thing. But also, to add a couple more just for fun, would be the clone troopers, the phase two clone troopers in particular, before the ugly helmet holes, because like, that would be nice. Maybe even bring back the bark trooper. Lego's only ever made one bark trooper ever, and that doesn't seem right. Like, Lego should make more Bark Troopers, right? That's pretty much all I'm gonna go with. I know that you could argue, like, well, what about named characters? But I don't really care. I'm like, Lego's done a pretty good job at making a bunch of different named characters over the years. But my favorite is always the Stormtroopers and clone troopers really so with that being said what about the shock trooper from the galactic empire battle pack that sets fresh on my mind because i'm doing a short review of it soon and i'm pretty sure that's the only imperial shock trooper lego's ever made can we get a new lego imperial shock trooper but it has to have the same helmet or a better helmet than the new one if they threw a shock trooper together with the ugly new helmet i would be sad next question is from crimson toaster asa what's your favorite imperial vehicle and then a bunch of potatoes thank you for the potatoes i have a couple things favorite imperial vehicles but my all-time favorite and i talk about this it seems like every episode now is the atat -AT. i love the all-terrain armored transport i love the sounds it makes when it walks i love the blaster fire sound that it makes it's just such a cool vehicle like in hindsight it's kind of useless if you think about it because it's really slow and they have flying transports so why do they need one that walks but i think it's just to strike fear into their enemies because it's a big massive super heavy armored vehicle is just capable of mass destruction and i mean like being able to step on people that seems kind of fun right oh my god so i just i absolutely love the atat -AT. it's just it's fantastic <laughs> Next question is from Scott Davis, ASA, would you ever consider writing a book with potato recipes in it and then a couple potatoes? Thank you for the potatoes. That's not a bad idea, but I'm terrible at spelling and all that, so probably not. And the last question is from EK Starlord, ASA. ASA, what is your most anticipated movie of 2024? For me, it's Deadpool and Wolverine. And then a bunch of potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. I'm actually going to go with Deadpool and Wolverine too. Like, I'm very excited for that movie. I love the first two Deadpool movies. Ryan Reynolds does such a fantastic job bringing Deadpool to life. And so I'm really excited to see what they do. And maybe, probably not, but maybe it'll be better now that it's in the MCU because now they can use other characters like Spider-Man or something. I doubt they would, but that would be so cool. But I'm definitely excited for that movie because I loved the first two Deadpool movies and I'm just excited to get another one. Anyways, that's it for today's questions. Thank you all very much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. If you have a question that you would like to ask for the next episode of ASA, leave it down below in the comments. And while you're down there, maybe leave a like and subscribe if you're not, blah, blah, blah. And the last thing I want to say is if you're interested in checking out some short reviews that I've done. I recently did some battle pack shorts from 2016. So if you want to check those out, they're available in the cards. Have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.